so the second one let's check this one the okay this one we did it you saw it and then consider the okay we already did this one 3.4 suppose we want to assign the value through to a bull we want to assign the value through suppose we want to assign the value through to a bull variable pass if okay to variable pass bull variable pass if the value of the int variable exam okay the value of the int variable exam is greater than or if okay you are going to if the value which means you are going to use an if statement here the value of the var int variable exam is greater than or equal to 50 and the value of the char variable assignment what what is equal is y and so take note into this end and take note that you are using if statement and then the value this one is for int is not a problem but a variable exam is greater than we are going to use this statement or equal to end so let me just code it first with you 3.4 so it's going to be if in other ways the exam is greater than or equals to greater than or equals to greater than or equals to 50 and you know and how you write it in computer science and the value of the char variable assignment is too much here i will just use a for now but you have to write assignment submitted is y né? and the value of asa equals to y like that then it must do what it must uh, assign through to a value called pass so then write the correct assignment statement so that's it it must assign on if that is true suppose we want to assign the value through to a bool variable pass okay then which means this variable we're gonna assume that is already been declared then which means if this is true you just write it like that it's going to say pass equals to equals to true so your computer knows what is true in computer science it knows that true is one but don't write one sometimes if you write one like this is fine if it's already initiated to, to bool but just try to be like to answer exactly as is gonna be needed okay let's go to number four so question four it says complete the following complete the following program by complete the following program by giving the full definition for the complete the following program by giving the full definition for the function calcul full definition okay for the function full definition for the function calcul sum as you are answering the function adds the two integers values if it receives okay this function you have to complete two integers so this function is an integer function you have avoid the uh, the definition for the function calcul so if i let me try to say it's going to be any int here like that it's gonna be int calcul in brackets it f in two integers it they say the function as to the two integers two integers that function okay let me just write it to that side because i can see that is not working here for me maybe it will work tomorrow because i bought a new device that i'm gonna be using for some other businesses so is three point is it four point one four point one yeah it's four point one so when we fill there it's going to be an int calcul sum 
and then we know that those integer as is, it can be into x it can be into y unless others if you are given which integers to use then then you say return you write return i have been showing you guys about this return x and y then you are done with that function it's going to return the addition of those two numbers then you are done yeah. it's only for max you are done it's fine that's what is needed let me show you again this is what is needed exactly so let's proceed again with the question suppose the 5 C++ instruction below okay in a program what will be the output displayed on the on the screen so here you are just reading eh? is you have int x and you have int y equals 113 y minus is decrement you know that x equals to y plus plus it's incremented it come here is it's going to be 113 and it decrement to 112 now then it incremented to 113 again then see out when you output this is going to out give you x is going to give you one your x is going to be one one three ne? when it output then it's gonna make a space then your y is going to be also one one three both of them they are going to be one one three so if you don't trust it you just take copy this code you run it there if you copy it you can just copy like that you go to you i'm just showing you if you are practicing you go to your code block okay in your code block here it's giving you it's giving us one one two and one one three for y so let's check why is it doing that let's go back to that question paper the first thing here that we see that we have to analyze uh, we have in y equals to 113 our y at first is 113 is fine let's just let me write it's 113 then this statement here okay i i if you attend my class before i taught you about y minus minus and i told you about minus minus y so we have a pre and post so this one here it does not first it does not first increment it it first this one it increment first same time so this one when it does not first increment it then which means it needs some another statement so that it can now increment it another new line when you go to a coding so if you say x here if you say x equals to y plus plus so this x here y it comes it comes with y equals to this statement one one two so after that because of this one here is a post increment is a pre post increment pre increment sorry a post increment then this x here is going to be still holding 112 then when it see this statement here is going to output that 112 first then after proceeding with this one then it output 113 for y but does not necessarily mean that these values were not the same so if you have minus or minus i will give you minus minus y if you have minus minus y and you put it here this statement was going to come exactly with y equals to what uh, minus it was going to be minus uh, it was going to be one one two and when it comes here this still was going to be one one two but because of here y plus plus then it was still going to be 